Hello. Hey, Danny. Hey, what's up? Hey, I got a pretty uh, controversial statement here. Well, okay. I guess someone consider it controversial. I think that um, this is a bit different from what else you've been talking about, but I think that firearm education should be taught in elementary school and middle school. Did it not used to be in America? Yes, it did. And uh, our gun crime was much lower. But that's a whole different multivariable problem. Do, do you know why it was phased out? Was it... Uh, do you so know scary. When? They kill people. Okay. Do you, when did they phase it out? Like the 70s or something? 60s, 70s, 50s. It's been slowly going away. I mean, yeah. even for me personally, I was uh, captain of my high school rifle team. And I made it to all county. And then the year after I graduated, they dissolved the team. They just dissolved? Why? Just because yep. guns? They, just they, just, they were just like, we're just like, we're not doing this anymore. Because I was still in contact with a few people that were like on the team. And uh, they were like, yeah, they just shut the whole thing down. They just don't want to do it anymore. It's not like there's no money. Like I'm in a pretty, I was in a pretty decent school district on Long Island. So mm -hmm. So it could be they just were like, we don't want to have gun. What what year was this that they shut it down? Oh, nine, 2010. Okay. So they just were like, this is, that's it. But, you know, I, I think a lot of times people like, you know, they hear about like, oh, they had an accident while they shot their gun while they were cleaning it. A lot of times people just say that because they fucked up and they don't want to admit it. Um, and it's not, I have plenty of guns. I'm literally holding one right now. It's near impossible. I, I literally just heard it. <laughs> yes, it's it's near impossible to accidentally shoot a gun. You have to be breaking one of the main three rules of gun safety, which is make sure it's not loaded, don't point it at anything you don't want a very big hole in, and keep your finger off the fucking trigger. You have to break one or many of those in order to accidentally discharge a firearm. Right. And I, well, I guess what people would say is they go, "Look, we're doing our best, but people people keep breaking these rules." But I, I it, it's uh, the the problem is is that it conflicts with, in my opinion, your God given natural right to own a firearm and defend yourself by whatever means you choose best. Sure. And a lot of times that's going to be a firearm. I mean, that's the smartest. Unless you're a psycho, it should be. Yeah. Well, I mean, like if you the problem is is that if you want a you samurai know, uh, sword, I guess you should be allowed. But that's frightening. It's um, it, it conflicts with the the softening that's been happening to the american populace and people are um strangers to violence and unfortunately i think that's you, you that's, say they're strangers to violence as a negative thing yes to some degree think about it like this when when a butterfly is hatching from its cocoon it has to struggle to get out everyone needs some kind of struggle you know how there's like you can just tell that some people have never been punched in their face ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. And and when people go up and they grow up and become adults and they see no need for, for violence or anything like that, even if it's a perfectly justifiable, positive use of violence, like somebody's raping your child and you shoot them in the face, like, you know, most people would consider that, yeah, that's a good thing. But sure. it was still violence that needed to be done in that particular scenario absolutely yeah i mean the 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 actual like pacifists who are you know the no no exceptions pat you're like you're not living in any sort of reality like to think that, that that's an option where you go, oh, we'll just have no violence ever under any circumstances it's, it's just it's just silly to me like um another thing that never crosses people's minds is that a lot of people that own guns like that don't live in metropolitan areas they don't own guns for other people they own guns for the wildlife sure because a lot of times the wildlife is trying to kill them because yeah, we had don't a caller a last week actually about an ocelot that they but then we watched a video on the ocelots and it just looked like a cat it's yeah i i uh i had a friend uh in alaska and um he's a geologist so he gets like flown via helicopter to like remote places of alaska to go fucking hit rocks with a hammer yeah yeah. my friend um, in in uh alberta and he, he does he's the helicopter pilot he does that oh bit. nice yeah, yeah that's yeah. cool mm -hmm. that's good shit but mm -hmm. um he was up there on some random fucking cliff face and he hears like a rustling 
and he turns around and it's a grizzly bear charging at him and he happens to keep 44 magnum on his hip so he draws it and shoots the bear if he wasn't allowed to own a gun my friend would be dead today absolutely yeah, you know, for, so a lot of people yeah, yeah, don't yeah. realize that. No, no question about that. That like you, you know, there's like wildlife. They're not like, oh, you don't have a gun. I guess I'll go home. Like they'll, yeah. yeah they're in a lot of remote places. A lot of the the I, these ideas too are from city people who are like, yeah, well, what do you need a gun for? And you're like, yeah, not everybody yeah. lives the life you live. I think honestly, that's part of the bigger issues with America is like the disconnect between how city people live their lives and how the country, quote unquote, people live their lives. It's two, I don't want to say very different lifestyles, but they are very, they I are mean, different in, I in live key in, ways. Me living in New York City, like I often think like this is the exact opposite life of probably most people. Like sometimes I'm in New York City, I go, this is what a weird ass fucking city this is. <laughs> the city is kind of fucking weird. Yeah, it is. Um, all right, cool. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Yep. No problem. Later.